Hey folks, it's Relationship Tuesdays here on Ask Leibs. I'm Lieberman, and we've got an email today from Lauren. I've been in a really happy relationship with my best friend from middle school for the past year. We're both in college and just went on our first trip together as a couple. We have awesome chemistry and I'm completely committed. I feel like our relationship is healthy, but when I look from an outside perspective, I worry that we could be too dependent on one another. We rarely go a day without seeing each other to the point that it's assumed that we'll see each other every day. We have the same friend group, so it's not like we just sit in and don't talk to other people. Is this unhealthy in your opinion? Do you have any advice on how I can help myself from getting too attached slash possibly upset during the times that we do spend apart? How do I start giving us more space without making it seem like I'm being distant suddenly? Well, Lauren, you came to the right place because this Lieberman is a codependent motherfucker. When I'm in a relationship, I love being in a relationship and I don't know how to release the break and like let the other person go and do their thing even when I need to go do things. This is a problem that I'm working on. I can't help myself. I always invite my partner to everything that I'm doing even when it is something I want to do myself. And uh, my girlfriend and I have had long discussions about this because she doesn't want me to invite her someplace when I really don't want her to be there. And most of my brain does want her to be there because I want her to be there all the time because, you know, fucking in love with her. Duh! I have a lot of friends who feel similarly as your outside perspective that that is not sustainable. And sometimes I think they're right. My first best answer to you is that every relationship is different and every person or set of people has different needs. You guys might be in the category of people who just love being around each other and it doesn't bother them that they're around each other all the time. Let me ask you a question. Do you guys ever talk about this? How often do you have a really open dialogue about the state of your relationship and how you feel when you're around each other, when you're not around each other, and how often you see each other? What does he say? Because the answer to how do you start spending less time together without seeming distant is you need to have a long discussion about it and decide whether or not you two need space. That's something you need to talk about. It's not something that you can just sneak into your relationship because then he will feel like you're being distant. I would just assure him that it's not that you don't love him or that you want to be more distant. You're just worried that because you spend so much time together, maybe things will flame out or that you'll get so codependent that you'll fall apart without each other. These are okay fears to have. They're very normal. My girlfriend and I see each other every day and I'm about to leave for like six days and then another two days and it's gonna be awful we're both gonna feel it and it's gonna suck we're very lucky that we're both very active and we have a lot going on in our lives so we can focus on that instead of missing each other obviously we still do every single day that's not gonna go away and you shouldn't want it to go away of course you should miss him and of course it should drive you mad that you're not around him. you love him why shouldn't you I do think however that building a life for yourself and having him build a life for himself outside of the relationship is crucial Crucial. You should have at least one activity, one thing that you do every week that isn't work that you do without him. That is yours. And he should do the same. Because if you do everything together all the time, you will eventually run out of conversation and you will get bored. I'm on a sketch team and I make videos in my spare time. My girlfriend's on two different sketch teams and she runs another comedy show. These are our personal passions that we then get to share together. Again, I'm just floating this as what I consider to be a good idea. I don't know that it's a priority. I don't think your relationship is necessarily in danger, but striking a balance I think is crucial for a long-term relationship. Balance and communication. Because here's the thing, if you don't have a problem spending all your time with him and he doesn't have a problem spending all his time with you, then there is no problem. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I want you to be really honest with yourself. Are you thinking about this from an outside perspective because you're worried about what other people think or that you're missing something? Or is this something that you actually want for yourself and you're afraid to admit it? Neither is wrong, but whatever you want and need in this relationship, you should clearly communicate to your partner at all times. If you're worried about him being concerned, assuage his fears. Dude, I fucking love you and I love spending as much time as I can with you. I want some time to myself, not because there's something lacking in this relationship, but because I want to bring something new to our relationship and I want you to have the freedom to do so too. See how he takes that and continue to talk it out. Don't feel pressured by what other people do and what other people need. Think about what you do and what you need and you will find your answers. Guys, that's gonna be the video for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought and uh, like the video and share. I'm Matt Lieberman and I will see you tomorrow.